Hi, my name is Tiffany Fiani, and I'm currently a Master of Business Administration student here at the College of Business in Florida State University. Um, I completed my Bachelor of Marketing and I'm now pursuing my MBA. A couple of facts about me is that I was born in Manchester, Connecticut. However, I have lived in Orlando, Florida about half my life. Um, I'm also of Nigerian descent and I have two older brothers. I am the youngest of three and the only girl. And a couple of things I like to do in my free time is go to the gym. Um, I do work out regularly and I also love to watch sports, in particular basketball. Um, and I used to actually run track, so I do have a passion for running as well. I'm passionate about diversity and inclusion, being an African American and being a woman. That's a double whammy in itself. Um, and just making sure that me, as I, as I finish my graduate education and I decide to start my professional career, that I feel welcomed in spaces where I may not necessarily, the people around me may not want me to be in. Um, and just, I'm passionate about ensuring that regardless of your race, ethnicity, or how you choose to identify yourself, that you have a seat at the table because you're qualified to be there. Um, and just everything that surrounds the idea of diversity and inclusion um, and how to better efforts in different programs to do just that, which kind of aligns with the research that I do now um, as far as increasing our diversity enrollment in our College of Business graduate programs. So that's probably what I'm most passionate about. And I kind of take that to heart wherever I choose to work in the future. Um, I definitely want to be in a space where I feel comfortable and that there are strides being made, initiatives in place to kind of, you know, make sure that that is a priority. Um, so I definitely say that's what I'm most passionate about, diversity and inclusion. The main theme and main goal of my research is diversity and inclusion and working on increasing diversity enrollment here in the College of Business graduate programs. So we're just looking at different initiatives and different ways to kind of do just that. Um, so whether that's partnering with different departments on campus uh, or, you know, reaching out to students at Florida A&M University across the tracks and letting them know that, hey, these opportunities are open to you. Um, and then just communicating the application timeline, the deadline, and the requirements so that students are aware. That's the main thing that we're kind of running into is that a lot of students don't know about our graduate programs and just how open they are. For example, with the MBA, it doesn't matter what discipline you pursued in undergrad, you can still go into our um, MBA program. And a lot of students just don't know that. Um, so just communicating that to them and then just trying to reach out to different organizations on campus to let them know that, hey, we have our graduate business programs and these are avenues that undergraduate students can go ahead and pursue if they choose to. Um, so yeah, it's definitely just reaching out to different minority organizations on campus, um, different student unions, so Hispanic and Latino, um, the Asian American, and then et cetera, et cetera, it goes on. Um, and just reaching out to them, just letting them know about our graduate programs and seeing what we could do differently to increase our diversity enrollment. And that also has to do with, you know, reaching out to peer universities and other Florida state schools, state of Florida schools, and seeing what they're doing and what we could adopt and, you know, try to integrate into our programs to go ahead and increase diversity enrollment. So I decided to come to FSU to pursue my graduate studies because of the convenience factor. So I already completed my bachelor's here um, for the past three years. And so I've kind of made a home here in Tallahassee. And so transitioning into the graduate program was very easy for me. Um, I also say there was a lot of funding opportunities for me to go ahead and stay considering that I graduated early. And beyond all that, I'm already at a really prestigious university. So when I was kind of weighing the options of whether to enter the workforce or to go somewhere else, it kind of just made more sense for me to just stay at FSU and all the stars kind of aligned to decide to keep me here. And so that's how I ended up doing my graduate studies here. So when I think about the question, um, who has been the most influential to my success at Florida State University, um, three people in particular that work for the university come to mind. Um, the first would be Joy Alexander. She's actually not here anymore. Um, she got stolen away by Georgia Tech, but she was the director um, at, over at CHAW, which is the Center for Health Advocacy and Wellness. Um, I kind of adopted her as my mentor 
and she just was there for me through like you know a lot <laughs> uh, whether I'm like stressed out with school I just go and like talk to her and she's just was a great resource and she was just really there for me a lot um, especially when I was a freshman and sophomore and trying to just navigate my way through big old FSU so um, I definitely want to make sure that she's mentioned when that question comes up another person would be April Levitt and she was my supervisor for intern FSU um, over at campus recreation she now works in um, vice president for student affairs but she, April's awesome. <laughs> I can call on April whenever I need anything and then she's there for me. Um, and so I definitely wanna mention her as well. And third, I would say Crystal Nicholson. She's also gone. She was still on the way too. Um, but she was my Leadership mom. So Leadership is a program that is put on through the Center for Leadership and Social Change um, over here at FSU. And so I participated in leadership and leader shape. And she was my cluster mom. And ever since then, she's just been a huge part of my journey here at FSU and my education. So I definitely appreciate her as well. Um, and beyond people that work for the university, I always have to mention my parents because they are my backbone and they continue to support me through everything. Um, so those would probably be the most that are most influential to my success here at FSU. As far as letters of recommendation, words of encouragement, um, people to call on, they are there for me. Fun fact about me, when I was in like third grade, I said that I wanted to be a CEO. <laughs> when they asked me what I wanted to be when I grow up, I said I want to be a CEO. So I don't plan on working for someone for the rest of my life, and that's just personally me. Um, so what I would say about my graduate education and how that is shaping my future endeavors, um, I'm kind of setting myself up to manage and to lead and pursuing an MBA, you know, um, that's a pretty general business degree, but it's centered around management and how to manage, you know, teams and employees and a company. And so I'm looking at the long haul. I always knew that I would want to pursue my MBA. And so I definitely feel like by doing my degree now at a young age and um, just having the opportunity to pursue it now is kind of going to set in um, further on down the line. And so I would definitely say that it's just helped to shape my mindset surrounding that. So while I'm going to enter the workforce and be prepared to learn and you know absorb as much as I can from those around me, I'm also looking for a way to grow within a company. Um, and so with the MBA and a graduate degree, that allows me to do that, so. I would say that I enjoyed the most, or the most, at FSU is our school spirit. So from game days to just going to the, the circus, um, there's just so many different activities to do at FSU. They just, there's always something happening on campus and there's no place like FSU there, and just simply put there's no place like FSU um, nothing can compare to the null experience um, just being in Doak at night Doak during the day just sitting and chanting the um, war chant it's just I don't know I just I'm a no for life <laughs> I'm kind of no blooded um, I love school spirit I love attending different athletic activities where I can showcase my school spirit and I would just definitely say that the atmosphere on campus is unmatched. So some advice that I would give to someone who is considering pursuing a graduate degree is do it with something that you love. It's your graduate education. You are not required to go and get an additional degree. So if you have to, make sure it's something that you actually enjoy doing and that you're passionate about. So that way the work that you're doing doesn't seem like it's required um, and you can actually enjoy it. Uh, that'd probably be my number one piece of advice to give. Um, I'd also say do your research as far as choosing a great university. I'm a huge advocate for FSU. Um, but just make sure that, you know, wherever you choose to go, it's a very, it's a culture fit for you um, and where you think that you can thrive and be the most successful. 
and also just think about what you want to get out of your degree and I would kind of say write that down so that way that kind of helps guide you when you are in your program and you feel like it's a lot going on and things are just really rough just think about you know the end goal and what you wanted to accomplish when you decided to begin in the first place.